Always forget to turn the microphone on. Professional streamer, as always. Hello, I'm DDF Racer, and welcome to the stream. Uh, today, I'm going to be streaming some R Factor 2, specifically the VLMC, the Virtual Le Mans Cup. And today, we're going to be driving the Aston Martin GT3 car at Silverstone in, well, it, it's not really the first race, it's the pre season race of the season, so it doesn't count for points. There's no prizes, there's no anything on offer really, it's more sort of a warm-up race than anything else, but everyone's here, everyone's taking it seriously, so let's go and give it our best shot. Let's go and give it our best shot, guys. Uh, currently, it is uh, nearing the end of the qualifying session here. Now, Nick Dealey is my teammate for this race, as part of the number 67 Zancho Simsport entry. He's a pretty quick guy. He's amazing with the setups on the car. He knows his way around, well, 
everything basically <laughs> he's a bit of a wizard when it comes to making the car drive fast so i'm really looking forward to this um yeah just watching him finishing off his qualifying laps at the moment he will be starting the race so let's go and take a look at what he's doing then shall we currently riding on board with nick now if you have watched these streams before you'll notice things are a little bit different the um the display looks completely different as Nick gets a little bit sideways there through, um, uh, through Stow, I believe it is. Uh, yeah, no, it, it looks a bit different here. So on the right hand side of the screen now, you've actually got live timing pulled direct from the VLMC website, which I'm going to keep on screen while Nick is doing his first stint. Now, it's going to take about an hour's stint. Got on Nick. You have to stop the car on this server to be able to get back to the pits. And one of the quickest ways to do that is actually going head first into the barrier. So <laughs> bear with us there. And welcome to everybody in the chat as well. Uh, great to have you here. Uh, Norman, yes, it is currently five to midnight here in Brisbane, Australia. So got my coffee. I'm all good to go. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward to putting on a good race for you guys. We will be spectating Nick for the first hour roughly the pit stop well it's going to be a two hour race and you can get about an hour's worth of um of a stint out of a tank uh the tires could probably do longer than that but they do start to get a little bit sketchy so yeah the pit stop's going to be around about the hour mark so the first hour we're going to be watching nick seeing how he goes anyway let's pause the music and give it some in-game sound so you have to bear with me, I am using a bit of a temporary setup here. I am spectating the race. So, yeah, I'm just using the Oculus to point the camera in the direction it needs to go. So it's a little bit of a makeshift solution, but it works. It does the job. Anyway, back to the standings page. Let's see where we are. So it looks as though, yep, qualifying has finished. And Nick is going to be starting in... 24th place overall. Now there are GT3 cars and LMP3 cars taking part in today's race. We are going to be in the slower class, the GT3s, and it looks though like Nick is positioning class. Where are you? See what I mean about the temporary solution? Point the Oculus where you want to go. Uh, 24th overall, 16th in class, which is not terrible at all. That 1 minute 59.3 is actually a really good lap. The pace here is incredible. I mean, if we just to minimize these, let's go back to the standings. I mean, if we look at some of the pace of the other guys, yeah, we're eight seconds off the overall pace, but Lorenzo is currently in ninth overall. He's the lead of the GT3s, I believe. He's 6.3, so there's, there's really not much in it. There's only a couple of seconds. Um, yeah, lead GT3 is a 57.689. Oh, no, no, it's a 57.247, my apologies, which is super fast. Anyway, it looks as though qualifying has come to an end, so I'm going to pop that on to Nick, and we're going to go on board with him for the start of the race. Oh, how have you guys been, anyway? Hey, Eagle Cot. Good to see you, mate. Hey, Dave Finney. Dad, of course. Everyone, say hi. David Finney, say hi to Dad in the chat. Currently getting the uh, wise words of Sean Jacobs in my ear, the race director. So I've got a uh, two headphone system going on. I've got an in-ear system and I've got my over-ear system as well because there are confidential details which Zancho Simsport do not want to share on the stream such as strategies and fuel levels. So I'm just currently hearing the introduction from Sean Jacobs. So there's going to be a formation lap under pit speed limiter. When you cross the line, you basically turn the limiter off and away you go, otherwise you're going to get a penalty. There is no visible start-finish uh, start line at Silverstone, so you have to keep an eye on when the timing kicks in for the lap. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we don't fall foul of that. Hey Thomas, good to see you in the chat, mate. Sean giving us a warning about the uh, pit line entries. Pit line entries, pit line exits. Just getting the last uh, the last rules before we start the race. 
So yeah, looking forward to this one. I've done a lot of practice here. A lot of practice. I've logged a couple of hundred laps in the lead-up to this event. Like I told you, I'm taking it seriously. <laughs> so, uh... Sean just giving us some, uh... Some last-minute instructions about lapping traffic and all that kind of thing. Just the usual. Track is open for final practice. There's a five-minute buffer, I believe. So, yeah, Nick is currently in the pits. Let me just turn on Discord. Now, something that is new for this stream as well. Um, I actually have a team radio system set up. There are a few people who are, well... I rely on, basically, to be able to do these races. First and foremost, Ed. Ed Trevelyan Johnson, who you've probably seen on previous streams. He's currently sat on the Discord waiting. And he's also in the chat as well. But if I press my Discord transmit button... I can broadcast the Discord, and Ed can broadcast as well. So we actually have an in-car um, transmission system as well, which should be good for strategy in the Hello. race. Hello, Ed. How are you, mate? Hello, Ed. How are you, mate? Good to see you. Good to see you. Yourself? Yeah, not bad at all. Looking forward to uh, looking forward to the race, of course. Representing Zancho Simsport for the first time, and yeah, thank you very much for dragging me, kicking and screaming through the Sim Racing Academy about a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can give Nick a slap for that qualifying effort. Yeah, what's um. What what time did he end up doing? Was it a fifty nine six, I believe? Uh, well, I'm actually getting it off your stream, so yeah. I, uh, actually, I can't remember. I think it was a fifty nine something. James was better though. I think he qualified third. Yeah, for those who are not aware, James is actually the second Zancho car. Or should I say the first Zancho car? We are Zancho car number two. So uh, James is going to be doing the race solo by himself, but me and Nick will be will be doing a driver swap halfway through the race. But yeah, James done a uh, absolutely cracking time. He's he's a very fast guy, so we'll be very very lucky if we can keep up with his race pace throughout the course of this race. I think, guys. So yeah, just waiting for the race to start really. Looks like everyone's going out on track doing some final laps. Thank you very much for coming along to the stream by the way. It's great to have you here. Absolutely fantastic. Um, sorry, not to d distract the stream, but are you planning to do Discord live or do you, would you rather not risk it? Uh, yeah, I'm going to be broadcasting on, on Discord if you want to pop in and... and um, Give me some pointers if you want to say hi on the chat. More than welcome. If anyone else wants to join in as well, who's who's on Zancho, then head over on Discord and say hi. Be good to have you on the stream. Always, always good to have you. Like a second pair of eyes, mate. You see things I often don't. Give me heads up in the race and uh, generally try and keep me out of trouble if I'm not putting it in the barriers myself. You'll be all right. So it looks like Nick's going out onto track to do some last minute practice. Now this Aston Martin... If you have a line to Nick, get him to use his headlights. Hey Nick, headlights on mate. Headlights on. I have a feeling that Sean has bloody mindedly set the server time to Australian. Well actually no it can't be because it would be midnight. But... Yeah, I do want to point out to everyone on stream that... um. Sean Jacobs, the race director today, is actually a fellow Australian. He is based down in Canberra. So, uh, he may have accidentally set the server time to dawn or dusk or something similar like that. Hence the low light levels and the need for headlights around this, uh, well, pretty amazing Silverstone circuit. And welcome to the chat, Bryce, as well. Hey, how are you doing? Now, for people who aren't aware, Max Eru, also called Bryce, uh, is also part of the Zancho Simsport team. Now, he was due to take part in this race with me and Nick, 
However, he's had a few technical difficulties with his R Factor 2, which if anyone has been watching this channel uh, for a while, they'd know that R Factor 2 is prone to technical issues. <laughs> We've all been there. Any self-respecting sim racer who's used R Factor 2 will know exactly how frustrating the simulation can be at times. So unfortunately, Bryce can't join us for today's race because his wheel keeps on uh, not connecting up into R Factor 2 and um, causing issues. But it's good to have him in the chat. Everyone, give Max Eru, aka Bryce, a uh, nice warm welcome. Just making a few last minute adjustments to the stream here while we watch Nick in the background. <laughs> CTDs all day, every day. Yeah, uh, we've all been there. We've all been there. R Factor 2 has a mind of its own, but when it works, when it all comes together, it's an absolutely amazing sim, as what well, is demonstrated quite expertly by the, the VEC, the Virtual Endurance Championship, and the VLMC, the Virtual Le Mans Cup. <laughs> it's always good to have excuses, though. Welcome, welcome to the stream, Lena. Good to see you, mate. So many familiar faces. Great to have you all in the chat. Hmm. I'm looking forward to this one a lot. So, yeah. Just let me know what you think, guys. What's the new overlays like? Is that all working in uh, the chat? Just oh. Could you double check with Nick that he's running the race setup in case he forgets? Will do. Will do. Time to use the... Uh, Sneaky team speak secret button, which you guys can't hear. So one second. Hey Nick, just um, had a shout from Ed. Wanted to make sure you are running the race setup, mate. Obviously, you can hear me, but you can't hear Nick. Oh, excellent. Uh, Nick's just saying they've uh, added on some time to the start of the race to uh, allow for the formation lap as well, which is going to affect our fuel mm -hmm. slightly for the race as well. You were running a little bit better than, than we projected, so um, I wouldn't be so worried about fuel. And anyway, this race is just, you know, just a bit of fun. Yeah, of course, of course. This race is just, a, like I said, a fun race, really. It's a pre-season, so it doesn't count for any points, doesn't count for any standings in the championship. It's just here. Everyone's just here to have fun, basically, and, well, more seriously, get a feel for the upcoming season, because, oh, this this might be the pre-season race. There's actually a full season of VLMC ahead of us, the debut season of VLMC, actually. Um, now, the Virtual Endurance Championship runs pretty much every year, and has been an institution as far as online R Factor 2 racing is concerned. So many people keep coming back year on year, and it's actually that popular, they've... they've decided to set up a feeder series for it and that's what we're racing in today the vlmc now in the vec the races are full-blown endurance races you get up to four hours six hours eight hours 12 hours and of course the 24 hours of le mans now in the vlmc which we are racing in the races are a little bit shorter than that we're only doing two hours for all of the races throughout the season including this pre-season race today Whereas the Le Mans finale is going to be four hours, which is quite a good thing, to be honest, because, um, yeah, <laughs> it's quite a good thing because it's currently midnight in Australia here. Anyway, I'm just going to check the display because it looks as though Nick is stuck in the pits, which I don't think should be the case because the race should be starting soon. So let me just check that very quickly, guys. One moment. And there we go, that answers the question for me. The race session is about to begin. So, everybody, cross your fingers and wish Nick all the best. As so we line up on the grid, there are quite a few cars ahead of us, unfortunately. But yeah, the results don't really matter today. It doesn't count for anything. Let's just go out, have a good race. Let's try and salvage some from this. We can see the other Zancho of James Johnson ahead of us there in the front left. 
and the race begins. Although rather anticlimactically, if that is even a word, everybody is on formation speed. So we go around, we do a formation lap, and everyone gets settled into the race. Everyone gets uh, lines up in single file, gets the position, and when we cross the line the second time, that's when the race begins. Good luck, Nick. All the best, mate. Tell him to use sixth if he wants to save a bit of fuel. If you want to save, um, save a little bit of fuel on the formation lap, um, Ed saying pop it into sixth gear, mate. Yeah, Norman, um, I set up the voice channel for uh, people to be able to step in and obviously contribute to the stream. It's still a work in progress, I'm still trying to work it out. Um, I'm limiting it to a few people at the moment, just while I test it and make sure it actually works. Otherwise, anyone on Discord could join in. <laughs> and it could be an absolute free-for-all. Obviously, the last thing I want in the middle of the race is people distracting me and uh, just coming on and... and and spamming me really, although it's great to have your support. I think it's it's best if we test this out and see how it goes, and if it works, then obviously we'll open it up in the future, because it would be awesome to have you guys on the stream. Although it's awesome to have you guys here in chat as well. Thank you so much everybody for turning up. I hope you enjoyed today's race, and I hope you enjoy the content on this channel. It's been a while since I've been broadcasting and streaming. Uh, real life has been a little bit busy, and I've got so many ideas for videos that I want to do. So many, so many projects in the works that I just can't wait to get the time and just, just record for you guys. But yeah, time is a little bit short at the moment, so it is so good to be back in the car and doing this today. If you're enjoying the content, if you're enjoying the channel, don't forget to uh, give the video a, a sneaky like. Say hi in the chat. I'll do my best to, well obviously I'll be, re be able to read everything at the moment because I'm not actually driving. I can pay nice close attention to chat so that is nice and even when I hop in the car later in the race to do my stint I will do my best to keep up with the messages. But yeah, leave me a like, leave me a comment and if you want to see any future content such as the actual VLMC races in this season then make sure you subscribe and press that notification button because then you'll be notified every time I go live, I'm about to go live or upload a video. And if you enjoy the content on this channel, why wouldn't you want to know that, hey? <laughs> Thank you very much, Norman. Trying my best for this race. We're just pacing around at 80k. Hopefully the slowest that we do maggots and beckets all race. If not, then something's gone seriously wrong. We just reset the live timing. Thanks for the heads up, Thomas. Is Nick far further ahead than he should be? Because he should be three from the end, and he's only about eight cars behind James, I think. That's a very, that's a very good point, that Ed. Hopefully, we're not starting out of position. Um. Can you see the live timing on the screen? I've just given that a refresh. Was was Nick coming up as on the on the on the live stream? Twenty fourth, well, sixteenth in class. Yeah, that sounds about right. Are there sixteen cars ahead of him? I think so. Here we go. Well, he's 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 gone wherever he um, was popped on the grid, wasn't he? Yeah, everyone everyone came away in formation. So I'm sure if there's anything untoward, Sean will have a look at that towards the end of the race, our, our race director. But here we are on the start finish straight, getting ready to go. All the best, Nick. And there we go, start of the race. Looks like uh, 
Looks like we've lost the position going into the first corner already, but that's all good. It's a long race, two hours, plenty of time to fight back. Just want to get a nice, steady start here. No mistakes. Obviously, you guys can see the live timing on the right-hand side of the screen. Should make it nice and easy to follow. Yeah, for those who have been following Studio 397 and Factor 2 recently, the, uh, the Nordschleifer has recently been released, which is going to be absolutely incredible. Cannot wait to do a video on that. The previews I've seen so far look amazing. Now, on the footage from Nick's car, if it does look a little bit choppy, a little bit slidey, then that's because there's a little bit of a difference in the ping. Obviously, uh, Nick is from the Midlands in the UK. I'm in Brisbane, Australia, so there's a little bit of a ping difference, so apologies about that. <laughs> Linus, thank you very much, mate. Pro streamer right there. I'm on, on board with the wrong car. I just figured out the problem, mate. I was on board with the wrong car. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's why we looked a little bit further ahead on the grid, so... Though it looks like Nick is uh, getting the headlights out and flashing the satellite racing entry ahead of us. I think there was a move going into uh, Stowe, which may not have pleased him too nicely. Yeah, I just saw that. Nothing um, on the team speak yet, though. No, he will just be quietly grumbling away to him. <laughs> thanks for the uh, thanks for the spot, Linus. Good one, mate. Who who were we even on board with? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good question. <laughs> it was yellow and red on the front of the car. I um I might have a it look later the in the race, but um. I think Nick's... I think it may have been Witchwood. Because they got past... They were behind Speedy Might and then got past by a Rookie Monsters car. Yeah, yeah. Looks like Nick's trying to get past the satellite. Oh, a bit of a wiggle from the car ahead there. He's looking at the inside going into Maggots. That's probably not going to work, I'd say. Yeah, like I was saying earlier though, if the car looks a bit wiggly, a little bit shaky, uh, it might be because of the uh, the ping uh, between my connection and Nick's connection. We're on opposite sides of the world, of course, so it's not as smooth as if it would be from my perspective on board, so just, just have to bear that in mind, guys. I've been caught out by that a little, a little bit myself so far. But now Nick's doing alright so far. Nick's doing well, holding on to his position. Setting again nicely behind the satellite here. Have you tested a driver swap with him? Yeah, we did a few driver swaps in the uh, the practice server before we uh, before we went on stream. A uh, bit wide into uh, first corner there, unfortunately. All good though, no damage done, guys. Um, might be a good idea to just check with him how the car feels, because he did get barged by that uh, satellite Aston. Any thoughts on the car, Nick? How's it feeling, mate? Did you have contact before?
I think he said the car feels good, he says. The car feels good. Maybe some minor damage on the front right, perhaps, but um, didn't. I don't think he got pushed off track, but feels good, apparently. The car feels good. Okay. Uh, when he gets a moment on a straight or something like that, just make sure that he uh, selects do not repair in the pit. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a little bit frustrated with the cars ahead, he's saying they're all over the place. <laughs> So it mustn't, yeah, be, the, like mustn't be the ping, mustn't be the connection. Oh, that's looking a bit dicey into club corner. How's the stream going anyway, guys? Um, the footage from the onboard, okay? Oh! Oh, close call though, going into turn one. The satellite just went straight off the road ahead of him. Lost the rear. I mean, we got a freebie. No contact made as well, which is good. He's very lucky that he didn't roll into me. Looks like he's going for the move on the next car ahead. Might be up two positions on this lap. Go on, son. There we go. You're missing that Porsche. Not in the slightest. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Nick. Nice one, mate. Two spots. Uh, Nick just reporting a little bit of lag going into turn one though, which may explain why the uh, car ahead of him lost the rear. Thanks Dean, thanks Linus, all good to report mate. As long as the video looks good and the sound looks good, what more can you ask for? He's got a bit of a gap ahead of him so he can mm. afford to settle down a bit. Yeah, yeah I got some lag as well Nick, um, all good though mate you made it through. Uh, Head down, let's let's get that gap closed up. Gap to second is very close. See the uh the inner commentator inside me wants to break away and watch that battle now, but <laughs> I just need to keep a focus on Nick. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. Uh, you, you're forced to watch your own car anyway. If you, if they see that you're streaming someone else's car, they get quite miffed up. Yeah, true, true. I didn't realise the um, the secrecy involved in uh, streaming an event like this. Uh, obviously, Nick before the race was saying, "Oh, just you got to make sure that Teamspeak doesn't go out to the to the broadcast." I said, "Why?" He says, "Well, we're discussing strategy and." Oh, of course, I didn't even think about that. Any one of the other teams can just dial in and, and have a look, really. And, um, I mean, obviously this is pre-season, so it doesn't really count for points, but still, any kind of competitive edge you can get, any kind of information on your competitors is going to be, it's going to be an advantage, hey? Yeah, <laughs> I mean... Again, the stakes are quite low in this race, so <laughs> he could just not talk about strategy. There is that, there is that. So the race is looking good so far. Uh, James, James in the number 62 Zancho car, our fellow teammate, in third place at the moment. Currently three tenths behind second. Yeah, that would that would uh, that would be a nice one to follow. Actually, thinking about it. <laughs> and um, yeah, Nick's doing well. 15th in class, with a 2.3 second gap to the car ahead. Although the two cars ahead are looking pretty feisty, so if they start to get involved, that that, that gap could uh, 
close it pretty quickly, hey? Yep. Yeah, there's a chance the three ahead may condense. Mm. I mean, the, yeah, the two, the two ahead are very close. Whoops. There goes one. I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm behind because I'm watching your stream. But, um, yeah, it's another position. Nice. Yep, up to, up to uh, P14 now. The gap's down to 1.9. Um, looks like Nick's got about 7 tenths on the car ahead, which is good. So he's currently running low 202s. A 202.1 last lap round, where the other cars are all in the 202.8s and 202.9s. Um, actually, compared to the cars ahead, or right, right at the top of the top of the stint, uh, he's about 2 seconds off at the moment. The, uh, the lead cars are running 2 minute flat, 0.2 seconds. So... Yeah, that's, that's really good pace, although I think the rubber on the track may be a little bit lower than in the practice session. Pretty fresh track by the looks of it. Oh, a bit... <laughs> Nick's not overly happy there. He's uh, slid the rear going into uh, Cop's corner. Went wide, probably got a, a cut track over that. It should be cumulative rubber. So, um, I mean, there's the official practice session could have started with with no rubber laid down, but it's usually medium that they start with, I think, and then it just builds through the the following set. Yeah, of course, all the way through the practice sessions, there's only really been one or two cars on track at one time, so it takes a while for the rubber to build up, whereas now we've got, what, 30, 40 cars on track, all going around and laying some rubber down, so we should should see some pretty fast times by the end of the race. Yeah, it looks like... Uh Jorge Fernandez in the pushrod racing team has uh, DNF'd uh, Thomas. Maybe that was the freebie that we got. Looks like the uh, number 99 GT3 car in the pits. Looking feisty ahead of us. Still side by side going into Luffield. Still side by side coming out of Luffield as well. Nick's uh, Nick's going to be on the back of these in no time. And he's got the pace as well. Obviously started the race in 16th, coming up to 13th, and that's 12th and 11th ahead of us. Would you mind relaying a message to Nick? Yeah, yeah, certainly. Could you ask him if he's ever heard of the Apex at Brooklyn? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think that's wise, considering the... Um, obviously, you can't hear the team speak. There is quite a lot of grumpiness coming, coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, with regards to cut tracks as well, does that get reset at the driver change? Nick's coming in, Nick's coming in, Nick's coming in. He's not said anything. What's with the pit stop, mate? Swap over? Yeah, he might have had a drive through. Oh, Nick's got a drive through for cut tracks. Oh, I was about to go full Mark Webber and put the headset on and uh, <laughs> run to the back of the garage then. Uh, Nick saying he was forced off the track for two of those. So, um, yeah, not overly happy. He said he was forced off the track for two of those cut tracks, but still gave him a penalty. Not the end of the world. Still positions to be gained. Oh, lots of positions. Lots of positions. All good, mate. All good. Long race. Fun and race. And the Silverstone <laughs> pit lane is actually quite a quick one. It's probably the best pit lane you could have to uh, have a drive through as well. You didn't lose too much time, complex. mate. Yeah, I just relayed that to him on the team speak as well. Just let him know that, you know, any any kind of silver lining right now I think would be good for him. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Nick's saying over the radio that the um, the practice uh, coming into the pit lane has definitely paid off. He absolutely nailed that one. Yep, sounds good, mate. That's you absolutely nailed that one, Nick. Top stuff, um, mate. Yeah, just in case he isn't aware, he should be from SRCA and other stuff he's done on Alpha H2, but he needs to be very careful of cuts because if he gets one more, he'll get another penalty. Yeah, he's uh, got to keep an eye on that. I fell foul of that through the SRC myself as well. Does that reset at a driver change, do you know, Ed? Like, will I get a fresh five? Or is it... Uh, yes, you will. Oh, okay, good stuff. I don't think he's got five, though, so maybe it's been reduced to three or something. Okay. This series. Which, I mean, it, it doesn't make much sense. I think five is a bit fairer. Yeah, considering the length of the races as well. You know, especially if it's if you get forced off the track, there's no real instant review, I guess. No. You can get uh, race control if you feel like your cuts have been particularly unfair. You can try to ask race control to um, remove your penalty, but that doesn't mean it won't remove your. I don't think there's anything you can do to remove your tally of cut. Right, okay. Let me just check the live timing again, see where we're up to. Uh, so Nick is now back down in 15th position overall. Yeah, he's behind those two that knocked each other off. Oh, actually, no, just the the Aston that did a Harakiri into time. <laughs> yeah. So we're already 10 laps down in the race, which is good. Well, the LMP3s are 10 laps down. We're on we're on lap 9. So we should actually start to... Uh, should actually start to see some traffic. Some lap traffic soon, maybe. Nice, James is in second. Good job, James. Yeah, Thomas is saying oh, in the chat that he's pretty sure, pretty sure it was raised up to five for the um, prior to the Le Mans 24 hours, but it could be back down to three. It does seem pretty. Um, that was just seemed pretty quick to get a penalty. Maybe it is back down to three. Everybody, say hello to Max Eru, aka Bryce, who's joined us in the team uh, the team radio channel. How you doing, mate? Oh my God, I'm good, bro. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Uh, shame not to see you in the race today. Obviously, we. Uh, no. <laughs> went over the technical difficulties. No, you I'm, I'm watching it, and I'm like. Uh, I want to be Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure Nick wants to be Nick right now. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> I want to be there, but then like being there, you're like ah. So, oh, sneaky move up the inside. Almost, almost got the satellite. I had to back out of it, but that could have quite easily been contact. The uh, LMP3s are coming up behind as well, just to make things even more interesting. What's up, Thomas? Oh, absolute traffic jam here. I'm not sure what the delay on the stream is for you guys. Oh no, contact, contact. LMP3 knocked him. Was that the LMP3, mate? Well, yeah. It's, I think we're about 20 or 30 seconds behind, really slow. Uh, just hang in there, Nick. All good, mate. All good. It looks like he's got a bit of right hand down. Smidgen. Possibly worth doing the repairs in the pit stop, do you think? Yeah. Uh, we'll just ask him how, how he feels. If it's, if it's pulling and it's a bit... 
difficult to predict, then definitely. But if he can just adjust to the new angle and the car feels solid, then it might be, might be worth just keeping with it. True, true. I'll ask him on the straight, see how he feels. How's the uh, suspension feel, mate? Any any pull? Uh, Nick reporting no damage on the car. Feels all good, apparently. No pull. Sick. I can see his right hand is... Oh, no, maybe it's not. I think maybe because it's um, through the Oculus and the Oculus is kind of at an angle, perhaps, resting on the desk. Thank you. Yeah. I was considering... How, he, how has he got no damage from that? That was a pretty hefty whack. These things must the be Aston. built solid, mate. These Astons, yeah. Yeah, Bryce, Bryce put some reinforced steel paint on them. British engineering. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the way McLaren used to do the uh, the chrome paint, and then they took it off because it was too heavy. So uh, maybe 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 oh, we've right. got some. Uh, Maybe we've got some reinforced paint on here or something, mate. What do you reckon, Bryce? Uh, I'm not saying anything. Oh, of course. Uh, my secrets. Mention it on the team speak. Over team speak. Maybe we can yeah. talk about our trade secrets there. <laughs> LMPs look dangerous. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, two people, two of the GT3s just took each other out in front of Nick. He just sailed straight on the left-hand side. Oh, God. <laughs> breathe, mate, breathe. <laughs> um, so you're going to do Discord live when you when you start driving, right? Yeah, when I get in the car, I'm going to keep the, uh, the team radio on. So feel free to pop in and say hi. Uh, or just hurl some abuse at me if you feel the need. So yeah, no, I, I just meant the the stream on Discord so we can see uh, what's happening as it happens rather than um, uh, 20 seconds behind. Or ah, okay, okay. I um I haven't actually tried that yet, mate. Are you watching live on Discord now? No. It's, it's just the way you did it before. It's the way you've been doing it um, in practice. Yeah, I um, haven't tried uh, broadcast streaming as well as Discord streaming as well at the same time, so I think it might be risky yeah. to do that in the race. I mean, I I definitely, if it's possible, I'd love to do that because then you can get the feed in real time, but I think maybe, um, maybe best not to try yeah, no, it. <laughs> Mid session. That's why I was asking about it, um, whether it was feasible the other day. Um, but yeah, it's, it's uh, probably a good idea not to risk. No, I just ran out of time, unfortunately. I never got a chance to test it. It's too busy putting the new logo on the display. <laughs> <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, by the way, um, Bryce does actually do all of the artwork for Zen Show, including the paint scheme. The uh, the logo you see on the screen right now, and most importantly, the uh, the driver suits, which look absolutely incredible when you're in <laughs> VR and you can look down and see uh, see the Zancho stripes on your arms, makes it feel very really official. You appreciate it, but <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. Check VR, so I could do it too. <laughs> and oh. He did the VLMC logo as well. So pretty much what we're saying is Bryce has got a monopoly on the graphics on the screen right now. Yep. Uh, I'm so. pretty sure he'd want to distance himself as much as humanly possible from the one of the logos on that on the um, screen. Yeah, that that DDF racer logo is pretty terrible, eh? No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. I think you know the one. Alright, <laughs> right, look at look at. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't want anything to do with that game at the moment. <laughs> it's a no, 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 I just, it's just, it's, um, it's an interesting design. And, uh, Tero did the Silverstone logo, which is pretty good, I think. Yeah. Good classic. 
Sean Jacobs popping up in chat asking us to keep an eye on the yellow LMP3, which, if I remember correctly, that's Speedy Might LMP3, right? <laughs> it is, yeah. When he says, watch that yellow P3, he's just saying, don't crash into it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit rude, Sean. Some uh, impartial <laughs> advice from don't the race director on. there. I think he's safe for another lap there, Sean, mate. You'll be fine. <laughs> I'll just check in with Nick on the hangar straight, see how the car's feeling. Just get an idea of uh, get it, get him to look at the LCD so that he can see whether any panels or suspension is damaged according to. Looking good, Nick. Looking good, mate. Car still feeling good. Um, give us a give us a report on the damage on the uh, in-game LCD as well. See if anything needs to be fixed, mate. Slight bit of lag there. No response back from Nick. I think he must be concentrating. <laughs> uh, he's reporting no need to fix damage. It's all good. Okay. Let's make sure that do not repair is selected. Yeah. He's. About half a second quicker than the car ahead at the moment. Just nice. Yeah, just remember to uh, select do not repair if you haven't already when coming into the pits, mate. Mm -hmm. Top stuff. I think the uh, the frustration has now turned to boredom, apparently. <laughs> it's just like practice all over again. Yeah, clear, t clear track ahead, clear track behind. Um, I think he's currently got, what is it, a 13 second gap to Antonio in the push rod racing number 77, and a, a 12 second gap to the number 90 Sakura racing car behind, so he's pretty much all on his own out there on track as we approach the end of lap 14. Let's get it into the Zen. Does look like it's getting quite a bit of understeer now though, unfortunately. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying the race so far. Riding on board with Nick, my teammate in the number 67 Zancho Simsport car. Um, yeah, he's holding it together. I did want to uh, race in the VLMC, but uh, I had to draw a line. But now, unfortunately, yeah. Ed, the um, the, uh, the team radio graphic is giving you away. Shit. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. <laughs> All good. Although Price I believe the car is pretty fast, eh? It's not a big car to drive the Aston Martin GT3. Oh, yeah, keep, keep doing that. Bryce, Bryce really enjoys it. <laughs> oh, I love it, mate. For anyone who um, hadn't picked up on the stream already, Bryce, uh, Bryce is from South Africa. South Africa. I um, checked out your iRacing video on YouTube the other, the other day, by the way, Bryce. The um, uh, the Mazdas, Thanks. where you went from 8th to crash to 2nd. That's pretty fun. I enjoyed that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks, man. Are you doing races uh, again, Bryce? Nah, it's the old rookie series. Uh, I, mean, I, I remember when it. you used to race. Yeah, I know. Same. It's nice. Did you, did you say you uh, are you are you paint too many cars? I thought you said you hit too many cars. No. 
<laughs> yeah, Thomas, good shout on the fuel. It's um, it's going to be pretty tight. We can get about an hour's worth out of it, but it will need a little bit of saving. My um, fuel uh, saving is marginally better looks than like the Nick's. Nick's cut that gap down from 14 and a half seconds to 11 and a half seconds since I last. Yeah, he's doing well. Closing the gap, he's keeping a keeping a cool head. And um, James up in second as well. Gap to the lead is six seconds now. Uh, but he's, he's only about um, half a second ahead of third place, so it looks like it's a pretty close fight, that one. Yeah. Well, Arisi is a very quick driver. Yeah, there's some incredible talent in the field here. Just some aliens, for want of a better word. Well, they do have eSports in their team name. I know how much it pains you to say that as well, Ed. I know how much you're a fan of the eSports word. <laughs> Indeed. Last pass. I'm not sure about the uh, the BOP, Sean. It's it's a bit too early to say. You never know who could be sandbagging. <laughs> so it looks like it's coming up for about <laughs> 20 minutes until you should be getting in. Yeah, I'm just thinking about the elaborate order in which to uh, put the headphones, the other headphones, the VR headset. <laughs> it's a mess here. So many different. It's, it's you need an instruction manual to get into in, get into this into this setup. Well, it shouldn't be too much of a rush. Get some coffee, keep me going through the night. Currently quarter to one in the morning here in Brisbane, Australia. So uh, any other Australians watching the stream, thank you very much for staying up late at night. Much appreciated to have you here and obviously for people who are back in Europe, uh, a much more reasonable time. Good to have you as well. Thank you so much for tuning in guys. <laughs> Rookie Monsters having a sneaky spy in the live chat there. Everybody into lockdown. No more fuel information, tires information. <laughs> How's the car feeling, Nick? Still good? I couldn't possibly confirm or deny that, Rocky Monsters. Nice try. So let's have another look at the live standings and see where we are. Uh, currently running 13th out of 18th uh, in the GT3 class. 
21st position overall. The gap is now down to 10 seconds to Antonio ahead of us, with 31 seconds to the car behind, so pretty steady, pretty stable. Nice little gap on, on the middle of the road. Uh, lap times are solidifying around about a 2 minutes and 2 seconds at the moment, which is it's a pretty good pace. Pretty good pace from Nick. James is being under quite a bit of pressure for a while. Yeah, that gap's uh, stuck at around half a second. He's, he's not been able to get away from uh, Gianluca Di Matteo in the Buster Z Racing number 65. Oh, this is great though, actually. Having all the cars out on track at the same time, I'm, I'm sure that some people are not pushing as hard as they could, but it's nice to get an idea of where the pace is. You know how the field's roughly going to settle out for the year, maybe? Yeah, I think there are some fairly unrepresentative positions, like one move should be, well they qualified second, so odd that they're 10 laps off the back of 16. Yeah, true, I hadn't noticed that actually. Maybe there's some kind of uh, pit stop damage, perhaps? Uh, I'm not sure the damage repair is that bad. Yeah, because actually he, 10 laps would be 20 he looks, minutes. It looks like he's it looks like he's not in the um, pits, like he's running, but he's already 11 laps back and how many laps have there been in this race so far? I suppose maybe 20? Yeah, currently on lap 19, Nick. Uh, the LMPs are already on lap 20. Uh, one move is stuck on 7 laps at the back there. Yeah, Thomas, good spot. Nick's just chipping away at that gap. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a big ask if he can get in before the pit stop, though. So uh, it looks like it. If he carries on like this, it might be up to me to overtake him. <laughs> now let's have a look at the timings. So we're currently eight seconds behind. Would 12. you mind just confirming with Nick that he has a? Pit request button, Matt. Just checking in with the uh, with the pit request button. Just um, Ed wants to check you've got that mapped. Yeah, confirming all mapped, mate. All good. Nice. Now, uh, just looking at the gaps now. Nick is closing up. Uh, looking at the gaps, yeah. um, sorry, Nick's, Nick's saying I have to press the pit request, not me. Uh, no. Um, you just have to go on board with him, as, as you have in practice. Uh, he needs to press the pit request button, um, so that the pit crew are ready for him. Just makes the pit stop a bit short. Yeah, true, true. Just um, looking at the gaps though, I mean Nick's down to like 8 seconds to the car ahead. And then there's 2 seconds to that car and then 3 seconds to that car. It's not infeasible that we could get back into the top 10 here if everything goes well towards the end of the race. Yeah, I think so. I think you've got top 5 pace at least. Um, maybe even... Yeah, I, th I think I think you potentially have top five pace, so um, you, you should make up a fair bit of oh, um, ground. Big slide on the rear from Nick though, coming out of Luffield. Nicely held, mate. Eh? 
Yeah, <laughs> that's right, Thomas. Things to check during the race session. Do I have a pit request button mapped? Uh, this instance, the answer is yes. Although, I will be the first to admit that I've never actually made a, um, a driver change in the middle uh, of the race. I've so got a very healthy experience. gap behind me, so that's not... Yeah, gap, gap behind is good, so there's no, no pressure really. Just, um, just a case of putting pressure on the cars ahead. Let's try and make up some positions. Yeah, it looks like James is just about almost out of that slipstream from the car behind, or to the car behind. Top stuff, top stuff. Well, it's getting near. It's getting near, it's almost time. Currently up to 46 minutes in the race on lap 21. So it's not going to be too long before we have to uh, do the pit stop and the driver swap. Yes, Thomas, I do have a passenger select button mapped. <laughs> All good. We did a few practice driver swaps uh, before the race in the practice server, so that should work out nicely. However, I'm yet to do one in the middle of a race, so... <laughs> <laughs> have you have you mapped a throttle button? Oh, I'm not Damn. sure. I've definitely got brakes mapped. <laughs> you might need the throttle. Oh, I'll have to, I'll have, to have a look at that. James has probably made a mistake, he's down to third. Oh no no no, no. That's uh, just the, the guy in third. Um, so that'll happen um, when people pit. So the guy actually overtook James because the pit entry is... Uh, it shortcuts the track. So he quickly went ahead of James and then James overtook him as he slowed down for the pit entry. Yeah, just um, just confirming. I, I do have um, I do have the uh, accelerator mapped. Ed, um, it's called a brick. Okay. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. That's all right. That's that's uh, Thomas with the, with the great advice there. I'll just cook the brakes a little bit. That's all there is to it, mate. Yeah, don't you have the throttle... Up until now, you've been using the throttle uh, neutral, like a default point to be 100%. So you just... It's like one of those phone games where you just use the brake to... It's the only input you need to use. <laughs> uh, maybe in Toka 2, mate. That's how, you, that's how you do it. So yeah, Nick's moving along nicely with the race now. It's going to get time for the pit stop soon, and then obviously we're going to jump in the car and take over. So, it's very much a waiting game. So, your car is actually, what is it, 26 seconds? 26 and a half seconds ahead of the guy who was third, who's just behind James, and he's just come out of the pits. So basically what you're saying is if, if we sacrifice the 67 race and hold up third place, we could maybe benefit the 60, <laughs> 62? I'm not saying that at all, actually. Um, but, yeah, no, there's no way you can beat them in the pit stop. If they were 40 seconds behind, you might be able to pit them if you didn't take tyres. True, true, true. Nerves are starting to build up a little bit now. It's getting towards the business end of things. It's going to be uh, going to be interesting to jump into the car cold. Like every every race I've done so far is pretty much I've had a practice session and a qualifying session to lead into that. 
Ah, Sean makes a very good point. Maybe they're two stopping. Maybe they're not going to make it on fuel. Maybe they have to split it into three segments. Yeah, that is a good point. There's no way they can make the fuel last that long. So yeah, they're going to have to stop again. So if we can drag the fuel out. I'll just check in with Nick. How's the fuel looking, mate? All good? On target? Got some information back from Nick which I can't relay on stream because I know there are people watching. Let me just check the numbers. We're on lap 23 at the moment. Uh, gap to the car ahead is 8 seconds. We are now up to 11, but that's because a few of the cars behind us have made pit stops. Quite early pit stops, actually. It's going to be quite an interesting uh, strategic race, this one. The mix of strategies. I mean, if some people are doing a two-stop, you might be able to make the tyres last for the first two stints, but then you're probably not going to get a soft tyres the full length of the race, so... People might be on fresh tyres in the, the third and final stint with low fuel, so you could really see some people start to fight back, perhaps. Yeah... I don't know, I think the stopped time in the pits is... is too much for a time penalty. They're, they're just some teams who are going to be doing what they technically should be doing, which is to showcase all of their drive. Ah. So, in fact, um, Bryce's technical malfunctions could have actually worked out in our favour because we don't have to show a third driver. <laughs> For the team. <laughs> uh, I mean, usually, like, it, it, so these pre season races are a bit more um, tense in the VC because there are divisions and. You either you either want to move up or you don't want to be and and you don't want to be moved down. So um, that's uh, yeah. I think I think you know Sean's obviously going to be watching this, but the you can either, I mean you, there's no division to go there's no lower division to go down to, um, and if you really screw up, you'll just be. Um, disqualified from the series or something uh, or you'll be put on probation so that's that's really the, the worst thing that can happen i send you straight back uh, to the SRC yeah so there's no real need to showcase that all of your drivers have you know that they're all up to pace because there's only one division and in the VEC am I correct in thinking that there are normally two pre-season races as opposed to just this one here at Silverstone for the VLMC? There was this season, but uh, I think last season there was only one. Um, Sean has piped up in the chat saying that we shouldn't talk about his first SRC race. Now, we all know that means that we need to talk about Sean's first SRC race. Uh, which I'm not actually familiar with, so if you guys can shed a little bit of light on that, I'm actually... Well, what's he referring to there, guys? I actually don't know. I do remember um, really enjoying beating him at Bathurst, though. Which I'm sure he'll also enjoy reminiscing about. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I agree, Thomas. We should really find out, mate. It's in the best interest of the stream. Come on, you can't, you can't leave us hanging like that, Sean. I mean, I know you are the race director, and we, we have to, uh, obviously, respect your authority, but you can't just dangle a carrot like that and leave it hanging. What, what, what happened with the SRC? Oh. Right, you're kind of... Possibly in your pit window. Time to start getting ready, eh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I think that's called a, a Nicky Jakovic shot. <laughs> How many um, how many laps until pit stop, Nick? How many do you reckon, mate? Yep, I think it's time to start getting ready. Okay, guys, if you've managed to hang with the stream so far, then big round of applause to yourself. I know there's quite a few you're watching, actually. It's pulled that cap down quite nicely, though. You're about to be. Uh, so there's lots of potential when you get in the car. You're about to be um, rewarded for your patience. It's about to be my time to to get into the car. And yes, thank you, Thomas. Um, I'm sure if Daniel Christo is watching the stream, he would entirely agree with you there. <laughs> Every time I go through Club Corner with an LMP3 in front of me, I get flashbacks. Still haunts me. Still haunts me. Yeah, the gap's looking really nice. Really nice, actually. Just going to do some final systems checks and make sure everything is good to go for the stream. <laughs> Including myself. Currently 1.03 a.m. here in Australia, Brisbane. So I need all the coffee I can get. All right, let's go. Time to get in and do a stint. Feeling very confident. Nick's looked after the car very nicely. Very nicely, actually. <laughs> Sean, my fellow Australian resident slash citizen. I'll do my best, Eagle Cot. I'll try not to fall asleep, mate. Although I am feeling pretty wired at the moment. Uh, just double check with Nick that he's got all the various things in the pit menu set to the to what you want. Good idea. I'll, I'll get him on the straight. Okay, Nick. So just check in uh, new soft tyres and uh, full tank of fuel on the on the pit menu. No damage repair too. And your name select. Uh, well, you need to think about going on board with him so he can select your name. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to slightly modify the stream now so you can actually. Uh, well, it's, it's going to slightly affect the vision. The uh, onboard view you're going to be used to is going to be changed while I just get ready to jump in the car. So apologies for the temporary inconvenience, but normal service will be resumed very shortly. And you'll have all of the information back on screen, actually, to make sure that everything's good to go for jumping in the car. Okay, so uh, select Nick and then press the uh, ride on board button, yeah? Yep. Just, you'll know if it works if it comes up in the chat. In game. Confirming. I am now riding with Nick. Cool. So, I'm going to take this opportunity to put the headset on and get ready. So, like I said, guys, apologies for the uh, slight change. Normal service will be resumed very shortly. Uh, if you do want to follow the live timing, by the way, there is a link in the description to the live timing. That will disappear off the screen, just so you can see the full footage from R-Factor 2. Uh, live timing is available, link in the description. 
Uh, also, a link to Discord is over in the description if you want to join the chat after the race. Confirming I'm now riding on board with you, Nick. Thanks, Thomas. Remember to click race. But only when he's actually stopped in the box, yep. No, on his, um, I mean, at the latest on his in lap. Oh, so I can press that at any time. That doesn't have to be, um, mm -hmm. doesn't have to be when he's actually in the pits. Well, it, uh, it shouldn't be when he's in the pits. Okay, cool. It should be, should be well before that. All right, so if I press race now, then it will take me to the onboard of Nick's car. So I'm like in the cockpit, basically. Yep. Yeah? It'll take you to a trackside camera, then just press the onboard uh, button on your keyboard, just so it lines up. It'll force you to do onboard anyway when you take over the car, but just so it doesn't, you know, it's a bit jarring when it suddenly change. Yeah, I did try riding on board with Nick after a driver change when, when he took over the car, and it, it's made me feel a little bit queasy in VR. <laughs> so I might, I might wait for it because there's that disconnect between the motion and what you think you should be feeling. Especially when, especially when someone else is driving the car, it just it's it feels strange on the stomach. I don't really particularly well, want to uh, vomit on stream. <laughs> at the very latest, I do it on the uh, hangar straight after. That is the one after Magnus and Beckers, isn't it? Yep. On his yep. inlet. Yep. Uh, he's saying end of next lap, end of next lap into the pits. Okay. Okay, guys. Here we go. Let's get ready to go racing here at Silverstone. He's got you selected, yeah. Pick confirm, pick confirm. Uh, driver select, yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Here we go. Race. Okay, here we go. Gaining control of the car in 57 Fuck seconds. Fuck yeah. I mean, alright. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be a more graceful way to do this, surely, guys. Whew. Okay, let's go. Good luck. Take it easy. Uh, take care of your tires out of the box.
Three, two, one. Fernandez has just retired from the race. Oh, there's quite a lot of right hand down in this. Exit's clear. Push. Take it easy, you've got cold tyres. See how it feels and um, repair it if it's too much of a problem. No, it should be okay. Should be okay. Oh, it's quite bad actually. Wheel, right? yellow. Johnson is now on medium. Move your hand slightly around. It's going to take a bit of getting used to. Shakula is now on mediums. Gap to Nash ahead is now 2.0 seconds. The gap behind is now 5.2. Yeah, as I'm sure you guys can see, the uh, steering wheel isn't exactly straight. <laughs> but it's nothing that I won't be able to get used to. Nick did a cracking job in the first part These of the race. Two for position. What's that thing you like to say, Ed? Uh, target mode engaged, what is it? <laughs> Predator mode. Predator mode. I guess the benefit of having a bright yellow car is you always see it coming in the mirrors. Last thing I want to do is take out the Speedy Mike LMP3 or any LMP3 for that matter. How's the stream looking guys? All good? Overlay's working, yep. Your tyres are cold, watch out.
Thanks, Thomas. All of a sudden, the car feels nice and natural now. Hardly noticing the right hand down now. Feels good. Driving around it. Settling into the pace nicely. Coming out the pits, just want to get back into the swing of things. It's been a while since I've practiced here, a few hours. <laughs> This car, this Aston Martin GT3, is very much a case of just being in the flow. Nick's not a slow guy, let me tell you that. Although we do have some pretty conservative fuel numbers that we have to make if we want to make it to the end of the race. Just got to try and keep an eye on that fuel gauge. Don't want to run out of fuel. Because the tyres will make it. Hopefully. ABS in these cars, so no flat spots. Well, not from braking anyway. Big slide will kill you. There we go. Settling into the pace nicely now. Okay, Dan, there were chances here. Let's make sure we can take them. That lap was a 201.72. That's your quickest lap in this session. Car feels good. Car feels good. So good to be driving this car. Johnson has retired from the race. Oh, what happened to James? I just got a message on the spot he's retired. Down. 
Roger. The gap ahead is now 1.3. Nail every corner. Let's take whatever chances we can. Tenth position. Actually, scratch that. It's the uh, the car in front of the car in front of you is for position, but the car in front of you, <laughs> directly in front of you, is for um, is. Yeah, I've got that coming up on the overlay. It's Arthur, I believe. Lap down. Hopefully he plays nice. Car left. Clear left. Thanks, mate. I'll do my best, mate. If I can keep up with the VEC boys, that I'll be pretty happy with that. You can tell when the, si uh, when the tires are starting to go off because you have to wait for the car to grip around Luffield. Yeah, whatever magic Nick's worked on this setup, it's it's working. He's he's a wizard. Well, I think he's here to hear that now. In the Discord. Blue flag. He's just being silent in the shadow. He's having his post in right. ice bath. I will let him off. You are clear on the right. <laughs> Thank you so much to everybody who's tuned in, by the way. Great to have you here on the stream, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Great to be back streaming and recording videos again. I've had a bit of a break from the whole sim racing thing recently. Real life's just been crazy busy, so it's so good to be sat back in the chair again. And it's great to be able to share it with you as well. Thank you so much for coming along. If you're enjoying the content, if you're enjoying the race so far, don't forget to leave a like on the video. Say hi in chat, I'll do my best to read the messages. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more content like this, press that subscribe button. Now that I've got the self-promotion out of the way, back in with the racing.
Hey JT, good to see you mate. Thanks for coming along. Just in time. No, I haven't had a chance to try out the Nürburgring yet, or the Porsche Cup car. If I'm being brutally honest with you, I haven't even tried out the, um, the McLaren Senna or the Aston Martin GTE, which I really, really, really want to, really want to try those. I'll be doing them in my next videos. So keep an eye out for that. I don't think I'm keeping up with the guys ahead. Um, the what, what's ahead the gaps like? 3.1 seconds. That last lap was a 2.02. Sector 2 is 1.2 off the pace. Uh, you've got a three second gap ahead of you. And you're... It's, it's kind of fluctuating. Uh, your lap times between uh, you and Adam ahead. He's now less than a second behind the car ahead of him, who is doing uh, one and a half second lap times slower than you. If that all makes sense. And then there's a big gap ahead of him, 17 seconds. Hey JT, um, no there isn't any way to donate unfortunately, YouTube only allows monetization once I get to a thousand subscribers, and it, even if I could enable it, I'd probably feel quite awkward about it to be honest with you. Any money I make would um, get invested straight back into the stream again. Sorry, just got an LMP3 leader behind me. Right side. Right side's clear. But yeah, I think any money would go straight back into the stream. I'd probably donate it to charity. I wouldn't use it for one of a better word. Great temperatures are looking good. But not yet, to answer your question. That's not an option yet. Just having you here is awesome support, mate. If you were interested, he apparently had a technical issue, but uh, was very happy with the race. Other. Okay, Dan. There's a faster car approaching. Ah, oh, that sucks. The gap behind is now 27 seconds. Completely stuffed that one up with the LMP3. Lost a heap of time. P10 though, that's not bad.
I can see a few positions ahead of me though. Looks like ninth and eighth are starting to get a bit feisty, so a few more good laps we might be onto the onto the, the back of them. Is now the front brakes are pretty hot now. Getting closer. Only just. Pace feels good as well. Nice and consistent. It's a very nice car to drive this Aston. Thank you for sticking with the stream. Got about 37 minutes left in this race now. Coming up for about a half an hour to go. Left front. There's a faster class car approaching. Let me know when I can give you some lap time. Yep, go ahead mate, all good. So, your last lap was a 2.020, guy ahead was 2.0029, and the guy ahead of him was 2.025. So, keep your current pace up. The gap behind is now 42 seconds. Okay, Dan, there's a faster class car approaching. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. It's fluorescent pink is what that is. You're not going to miss it coming up on you in the mirrors. I certainly didn't. That's the Speedy Might LMP3 again, I think. Uh, front tyres are starting to go a little bit. I think the suspension damage is wearing out the front left a bit more than normal. If you need more traction control, you're welcome to. Now it feels good, mate. It feels good, but I think that the suspension damage is putting more heat through the front left than it already was getting, so it's wearing out a bit quicker than normal. Seconds. 
still feels good though. The guy directly in front of you is actually a back marker, so just give him a couple of flashes on the straight if you can, get him to let you back. We all know how fond you are flashing the headlights, Ed. The gap in front is now 0.47. You've just done a 202.74. But the gap behind is now 4.6. Fuel numbers looking good as well, yep. Yeah. I think so, yep. Yeah. Uh, there's kind of a parity between the three of you, um, excluding this back marker. So, if you can, I don't know. <laughs> Just a case of putting the pressure on, I guess. Yeah. I don't know really what to suggest. I'm not sure how much... I mean, you could... Yeah, I'll, I'll have to work out whether fuel will be alright all right with Nick if you push a bit more, you use a bit more ropes. So, I mean... Oh, and there goes the back marker. It is in sector two. Sector two is yellow. It looks like Nichols has been dead. Clear the path right in front of us. Sector two. Don't have to worry about him now. The car ahead of us is directly for position. So we are now with the P9. So I think someone ahead of us must have made a pit stop. So there's now P8 ahead of us. So from starting 16th on the grid. Nick managed to put a solid first stint in, extend the fuel, extend the tyres, and now we're up to ninth. And hopefully a few people ahead of us have to make another pit stop. We are hanging on for pace as well, steadily into the 202s. So you're currently ninth, three seconds up the road is seventh. Need to find a bit of pace from somewhere, mate. Um, any idea if any of the cars ahead need to make a second stop? Uh, no, I don't know, but this lap, use full revs, please. Or next lap, use full revs so we get uh, uh, better. The gap to Brown behind is now 45 seconds. Yeah, it just felt like a direct comparison. Um, how long for? Just the one lap or like forever? Yeah, just a, a whole lap. Just one lap. Yeah, front left is taking a beating. Temperatures are fine. 
Okay, four revs. The gap ahead is now 2.3. Your lap time was 202.89. So Brown behind is now 44 seconds. Let's see what this full rest business is like, eh? Nah, <laughs> managed to get away with a not a cut track there. I thought that was going to be a penalty for sure. Half your fuel left. Sloppy, very sloppy through there. Only a tenth down on our best, though. Front tires have got minor wear. Accidentally popped it down to first gear there. So used to being in fifth, not fourth. Feels good, pace is good. The gap in front is now 1.4. That was a 201.90. You're two tenths off the pace in sector one. Sector two is 0.6 off the pace. Sector three is a tenth off the pace. It's a faster class car behind. Okay, you're clear to go um, <laughs> party mode. <laughs> party mode engaged, but I'm not sure if the front left will make it to the end with much life. Yeah. You can push the car as hard as you dare. The gap to Brown behind is now 45 seconds. I could smell seventh. Blue flag. to bump the traction control up a little bit and then not have to short shift so much out of some corners and also you can go down to, into fourth if you want for turn one if you want the sorry i'm just having flashbacks through club corner there mate lmp3s and gc3s going side by side with me on the rear that lap time was 202.05. Getting closer. Oh, he's gone wide. is now retired.
Get the cut back. The gap to Brown behind is now 46 seconds. Got to run. Woo! Race is heating up. Race is heating up. Traction control feels uh, feels good, mate. I like it. I think it's on f three or four. Okay, Dan. There's a faster car approaching. Car on your left. Clear left. Well done. Nice front now. Got him. Nice, well done. You're being too kind to these people. They're running wide all by themselves. But you're giving them a, a lot of space. was a VC Division 1 GTE driver that you just parked. You do realise that's tempting fate very much so, Ed. Why? You've already done it. Yeah, but he's behind me now. I've got someone well, to give me pressure for the first time in this race. <laughs> nah, he won't be able to stay with you from the way his car looks. Just focus on the guy ahead. What's the gap to sixth? Second. One second per minute, two seconds a lap. Notwithstanding extra pit stops. Meh, never give up. The gap to Mazzetti ahead is now 0.9. Your lap time was at 202.49. The gap behind is now 1.4 seconds. Whoa. This is a fun one, guys. It's a slow burner, but we're getting there. Relax, focus, keep it smooth. That's 20 minutes to go. Focus on getting better exits than this guy. Immediately proceeds to power slide it out of Luffield. <laughs> will do, will do. line out of uh, Beckett's right because he isn't what's the next step up from predator mode uh, <laughs> I'm not sure
gap to Mansetti. Ahead is now 0.8. Your lap time was 202.56. The gap behind is now 2.5. You're dropping the guy behind, so no threat from behind. Excellent. Just focus on your lines, and your breaking points, turning points until you're right with them. Good shout from Sean Smith in the chat, by the way. I believe it's called Arnie Mode. Yeah, I suppose. Um, franchise films. Terminator. That reminds me, where's Devin? Where is Devin? I'll go and find him. Ah, uh, it's a close battle, this one. It's so closely matched on pace with uh, Christian ahead of us. It can't quite seem to get close enough. Terrible exit out the last corner there. The gap to Mansetti in front is now 0.7. That last lap was at 202.16. The gap behind is now 3.6. Hey! Devin! Hey, Marius! P8. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Currently an hour and 45 minutes into a two-hour race here at Silverstone in the VLMC. Aston Martin GT3 car. Nick Dealey, my teammate in the number 67 Zancho Sim Sport car, did the first stint in the race. Uh, got some minor damage, as you can see from the right hand down. But we are soldiering on, and we're in full Predator, if not Arnie mode, in P8. Trying to get P7. Been a good race so far, made up a few spots. Right, minutes left. Pace is That's good. Minutes. Get all your apexes. Wait for the chances to come, mate. Not sure what kind of line he was taking there. And about 14 and a half minutes left to go in this race. The captain, Mazzetti, uh, is now 0.7. That lap was at 2.5. We'll raise by give Devin the, the permission to come in the void. Yeah, sure thing, mate. Bit sloppy through the first few corners there, lost a bit of time. That front left is really starting to feel the pain now though. 
Thank you very much for the kind words, Sean. Glad you're enjoying the race, mate. Back on it, full attack. Will do. Not much in it, mate. We're seeing minor wear all around. those apexes and break points. The app to Mazzetti ahead is now 0.5. That lap was a 202.55. The gap behind is now 5.8. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Okay, now, there's a faster car bearing down on you. He's the class leader. All right, here comes the lead LMP3. Three and a half seconds behind at the moment. I got a bit inside to go into Cops Corner then. Blue flag. All right. Be free. There's a bit of wear on your right side tyres. Your left front showing somewhere. Keep an eye on it. Here we go. Too far back for a dive bump. Didn't have the grip in the front left to make the cutback work. Just couldn't get the car turned in. Oh, that was a good opportunity wasted. Gap to Mazzetti. Ahead is now 0.5. That lap was a 202.60. Sector 2 is 0.8 off the pace. The gap behind is now 6.0 seconds. You've got lots of time to do this. Okay, Dan. 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. About five laps. Uh, JT, we managed to swap tyres at the pit stop. So I had a new set of soft tyres with about an hour to go in the race. You could probably make a set of mediums last. But I don't want to give that a go. Sector 3 is yellow. Get the run out of Beckett's. We think that Nash has gone off. Ah. Just had to, hes had to hesitate on the apex with the throttle there a little bit, but I've got, I've got a good run. time doing the same thing. Nash has retired. Blue 
flag. Car on your right. You are clear on the right. The gap to Mazzetti in front is now 0 0.47. You've just done a 202.74. The gap what? behind is now 6.9 seconds. Ah, too wide. Ah. Pass the car behind. Blue flag. Right side. Be right. Just blend out the throttle and give him the corner. Didn't really lose too much time there. Now's our chance. Yes! Great exit! Here we go, here we go! Okay, Dan, you've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Right, so it's clear. All right. And still there. Clear on the right. That was a 203.44. Sector 1 is 0.9 off the pace. The gap behind is now 6.5 seconds. That was a little bit cheeky on the grass. <laughs> Times like now I need a Bluetooth heart monitor. Car on your right side. Near right. Car on your right side. Your right side's clear. Just keep cool. You're faster than him basically everywhere. You'll get him if you keep it together. Just do a bit of an ice. I didn't realize the Porsche could be this wide. Alright, Dan, keep it nice and smooth. Come on, let the race come to us. Five minutes remaining, five minutes left. Ah, <laughs> Thomas. Right, you have more than enough fuel, uh, and your tyres should be fine, so... Balls to the wall. Use everything you've got. Gap to Mazzetti in front is now zero. Hit your marks. That lap time was 203.34. The gap behind is now 7.8.
Just follow him through cops, you don't need to go for the move there. You'll only lose time. Will do. If you're close enough, consider a dive at Stowe. Right side. Right side's clear. How many speedy mates are there in this race? <laughs> Where you going? Where you going? Left side. Blue flag. There. Left side's clear. Car right. Car both sides. Right side's clear. You're clear all round. Good work, mate. Keep it up. Nicely done. That Woo! was pressure that did that. <laughs> One more lap to go. Keep it on the straight and narrow. Very little fuel left. Hit your marks. Last lap, guys. Last lap. Whoa, that was good. Up to P7. Gotta bring it home. No cut track. Uh, you're gapping that Porsche very nicely. Bit chunky through Maggots and Beckett's though. He was holding it up quite a lot.
Is that the finish? There we go! Just keep That's going at full well speed done. for now, in case your app has got it wrong. I saw a man with the chequered flag on the finish. Okay. Nice. Yes! <laughs> that was fun towards so the cool. end. Yo, that was so cool. Had my heart going, really. <laughs> Left side, there's a car. Left side's clear. Not bad for 2.15 in the morning, hey? Sick. No, watch me. Oh, that was some good uh, racing. Side. I believe we started in... Six, 15th or 16th? Uh, so, 16th, uh, I think. Made up 8 or 9 positions. Go on your left. Clear on the left. And that was Go with a uh, uh, driver as well. Clear. Obviously, Nick got well, forced off the track a couple damage. of times. Well, that was good. No uh, no cut tricks. Right. No um, no penalties. No You're spins. I think that was my first proper clean race. Right. <laughs> <sighs> that was a very good race, isn't it? Um, yeah, no, that's, that's pretty impressive that you um, overtook that, or well, you caught and overtook that uh, VC Division 1 driver with uh, bent steering as well to boot. So. Feel worked out perfect as well. Look at the uh, half a litre left. I mean, if it was one more lap, we wouldn't have made it. <laughs> yep. So, um, big shout to Nick as well for. Um, Dragging out the first stint. Is is he around? Is Nick around on the chat on the team radio? Uh, I believe he's muted okay, himself, he's but he's here. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Ooh. Box in four hundred meters. Oh, <laughs> not quite sure what to say. I'm I'm, I'm a little bit tired with that one. I kind of took it out of me there. Box in five. Oh, yeah, four, it's time for sleep, three, dude. Two. No, oh, I won't be able to sleep for a while, I'll tell you that. Yeah. <laughs> Wired. Oh, give me race one. I'm ready to go yeah. race one. I'm here. Log mill finished. Nice way, mate. All right. Ah, that's cool. Good job, guys. So, that uh, apex at Brooklyn's, Nick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, you, uh, Best friend. You aware of it? Um, yeah, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, what a race! <laughs> what a race! Jeez, okay. Um, but yeah, good job by both of you. Oh, thanks, Ed. Thanks, boss. I think you mean Jan, I so. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, what a race, eh? Um, yeah, started 16th in class. Uh, got forced off track a couple of times, Nick. What what, what was the go with that? I, I think I missed the very start of the race. What happened with that? Um, I can't remember now. Um, <laughs> we thought we were watching you. Suppressed. And then it turned out... <laughs> it turned out we were watching... Um, what was it? Witchwood or something. Oh, so oh, we yeah. were reacting. So I, there was a bit where, like, I was saying, I, was, I told, I asked Dan to relay to you, like, you should use sixth on the pace lap to save fuel. And apparently you kept it in first. And I was going, like, why doesn't no. he just put it in sixth? Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> it turned out to be no, something completely different. I was, was in sixth for it, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I was looking at the wrong car. I was uh, just, I was, I was, I was being a pro streamer, and I was following the wrong person. <laughs> okay. Now uh, the guys, in, two guys in front of me, was Aston and a Porsche. They were just all over the place. Um, overtook the, uh, yeah, overtook the one Aston, and then he just immediately tried to go straight back past me, and then hit my right hand side, which presumably gave me the damage, and then forced us both off track. Yeah, I think that was Rookie Monsters, so if they're still watching, thanks for that. Yeah, I think they were in the chat throughout the course <laughs> of the race at some point. <laughs> yeah, it was Nash, I think, wasn't it, in the Aston? 
Yeah, that's rookie monsters. Okay. Yeah, I didn't notice the steering was out. It was fine for me. Yeah, it was a strange one. When I got into the car, I thought, oh, it looks good, looks good. And then as soon as it started going, it's like, whoop, to one side. <laughs> so, but it, it, it didn't look... You did both. Sorry, go on. Oh, no, I was going to say, it didn't look like there was any kind of steering damage on your car, though, following on board. Like, were you pulling it, like, right hand down at all? Nope. Very bizarre. What could have been, what could have caused the problem is that you might not have had the same setup assigned, and I know that doesn't, that shouldn't affect damage, but you know, uh, I'll factor two. Uh, <laughs> so like, so so when when you don't have exactly the same setup assigned um, from a multiplayer session, it's it's very janky. So you have to go on a practice server and make sure that it's. Um, uh, that you've got exactly the same setup assigned. Otherwise, uh, what's happened to us in races in the past, that, like force feedback uh, levels change, and you know when you get in the car, suddenly the car's like a lorry to turn, and um, so it could have been as a result of that. And then Thomas was also saying in um, in uh, the chat that um, it could have been because Nick didn't have the wheels straight potentially when you did the swap, but I don't know that. But I think that's unlikely okay. to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Also, um, Alistair in chat saying as well, if you don't repair it uh, during the stop, if you don't have like damage, it can actually get worse, and it's it's a bug apparently, which we all know our factor two doesn't have. Yeah, it has wonderful features that randomly crop up. Yeah, you can you can vouch for that, hey Bryce. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. But then again, Alistair is a is a wurzel, so. Probably just like saying, it's a bug. <laughs> you need to repair the damage. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, guys. Thomas, JT, Devin, Eaglecott, Sean Smith, Alistair, Hungry for Sky, Ultiman. Seriously, you guys, thank you so much for coming along and watching the race. Ah, <laughs> I'm exhausted. So we just need to make sure that your game is working, Bruce. Um, yeah. For those of you I'm who are asking as well, force feed this series back to you. The next race is on the twenty sixth of October. I'm gonna force feed this series back to you. Hmm. <laughs> no worries, Eagle Cut. Get my motivation back to even try and stalling and mm. I'll affect all over again. All that shit. Maybe we can organise that uh, Zancho fun race at some point. Get everyone on the team on, see if we can uh, rip around in a few Astons, maybe? BMWs? Maybe we could have GTE versus GT3, see how that goes down. Give the fast guys the GT3s. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we need to sort out a server for that, and I'm not very good at setting them up. Uh, so it's just... Yeah, it's a case of calling it a favour. No worries. Something to, something to keep in mind, perhaps. But, uh, yeah, guys. Um, I might wrap up the stream, so bear with me one second. I'm going to go and uh, deafen Discord. I'm going to say goodbye to everyone who's tuned in, and I'll be back in a second. All right, there we go. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, it's currently 2.22 a.m. in the morning here in Brisbane, so I think it's almost time for me to head off. 20 minutes remaining. You've got 20 minutes left. I haven't got 20 minutes left in me, Mr. Spotter. I don't care what you say. I'm going to bed. <laughs> um, everybody who tuned in really, really, really appreciate the support. It's been so good to have you. It's been so good to be back streaming and broadcasting again. Uh, it's been a little bit patchy recently with a few real life things that are going on, so I've not been able to get on the rig as much as I wanted to. But this is... This is great. This is what it's all about. Great racing with the VLMC. Absolute blast. Uh, yeah, Aston Martin GT3 car. Two hours at Silverstone in the pre-season race here. Um, started in 16th and worked our way up to 7th at the end. Uh, Nick held it together awesomely, extended the stint, stayed out of trouble mostly, and then myself stayed out of trouble as well. Managed to get a few more spots at the end. Thoroughly enjoyed it and <laughs> put the pressure on with a few laps to go at the end and made up that spot as well. So, 
Yeah. Oh, guys. That was a good one. That was a good one. That was a really good one. I really enjoyed that. And I hope you did too. Uh, if you did, don't forget to give the uh, give the stream a like. Uh, this will be available on replay after the fact, once it's all finished uploading and processing. Um, unless you're watching it on the replay now, in which case, thank you for watching the replay and sorry you missed the stream. If you did miss the stream, or even if you're just enjoying the content as well, subscribe and press the notification bell because every time I schedule a stream, go live or upload any kind of video, then yeah, you'll see it. It'll come up on your YouTube feed. <laughs> it's been great having you and I've got so much more content to do over the next few weeks. I'm going to try out the uh, the Senna, the Aston Martin GTE, I'm going to try out the Nordschleifer. I bought Dirt Rally 2.0 as well, so I really want to give that a go. And I've got some race room content as well. They've just recently released the Dubai Autodrome, so I want to give that a uh, give that a go. And with regards to the VLMC, I will be back in action on the 26th of October for the two hours of Sepang. I've not done any practice though, so that's going to be fun. And this is actually going to be the first proper race of the season, so. I have a feeling we got it quite easy today. Not everyone was pushing 100%, I don't think. Two, uh, what was it? Four weeks. Four weeks time, 26th of October. Come back and watch the two hours of Sepang for points and prizes. But until then, guys, you've been absolutely amazing. I hope you have an awesome day, awesome night, awesome whatever it is. I'm not being rude. I'm just doing that. It's my Streamlabs remote control. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves.